What do you do when you have those two or three scholars that have finished a 15-minute activity in just five? Maybe they have gone back over their work. Maybe they've even gotten everything right. What now? Let's talk about five ideas to keep those early finishers engaged. Hey there, education friends. This is Teach with Drea. On this channel, we share ideas and tips to help make the school year progress a bit more smoothly. If you are new, consider subscribing and check the description box below for more details. The bell just rang, so let's get started. The first way to help engage those early finishers is task cards. This one definitely requires some preparation beforehand in terms of laminating, cutting out the cards, and then copying the recording sheets ahead of time. Uh, task cards, they can cover a range of t subjects and topics, including science, reading, math, etc. Each set of cards can be kept in a dedicated Ziploc bag or folder with extra copies of the recording sheets. I definitely recommend for maximum appeal either printing them in full color on white cardstock or in black and white on colored cardstock. And then to help keep track, I usually just punch a hole in the corner of each card and then bind it with a ring. Scholars can continue working on these whenever they have a moment, and some of them, it could take them a week depending on the level of difficulty. The best part is you do not have to make these from scratch. If you go on sites like Teachers Pay Teachers, you can find them either as paid or free resources, which is really, really helpful. A second way to engage those early finishers are leftover worksheets. When I make copies, I always make an extra copy or two, either for myself to write on or just in case a new scholar pops up. I have a basket that catches all of my extra worksheets. Sometimes I may not have been able to get to certain activities and rather than and rather than throw them away, I just place them in the basket. This may be a place where you can send your early finishers to find an activity. If it's an extra copy, then it will be something that they are definitely already familiar with and they shouldn't need any assistance to finish it. And leftovers are also great for intervention activities as well. A third option is learning-based games. By learning-based games, I don't mean necessarily Candyland, unless it's developmentally, developmentally appropriate for your students. I'm usually talking about sorts, card games, math games from previous stations or lessons that can be just kept in a bucket or basket and may end up, if you don't use them, collecting dust for the rest of the year. These are also in individual bags, and I just keep just to help keep all the pieces together. And I've used these for actually fun morning activities as scholars arrive. So that way they also get some review and have a little fun first thing in the morning. A fourth option to consider for your early finishers is computer time using an awesome program called Extra Math. This requires preparation in the sense that you have to sign up and create scholar accounts. And once set up, scholars can just click on their name and they receive 10 minutes of math fluency practice once per day. You can set the fluency level to sum and difference up to 10 or 20, multiplication, division, and even beyond. And it'll even suggest the next scholar to come once a student is finished, and you can click if they're absent or busy. And once everyone has completed their class, excuse me, their practice, the class receives a huge green check mark so you know all your students are done at a glance. The great thing is that Extra Math is free on a desktop. And they'll even send you to your teacher email a weekly progress report to help you keep track of how your scholars are doing. And I love that it's actually available in multiple languages. Um, seeing as how I work at a Spanish immersion school, our Spanish teachers actually pull it up in Spanish, which is really helpful. And they also have lots of other languages. Option number five is unfinished work folders. And it's definitely my favorite way to engage my early finishers because most scholars, when they start to see others begin to move around the classroom, they'll start to finish and rush whatever they're doing so they can engage in those activities as well. And this 
to me is a much more discreet way to engage those early finishers. At the beginning of the school year, I give each scholar their own, usually a plastic folder with their name on it. I print labels for each pocket. One pocket says unfinished work and the other one says completed work. Students will initially place their new activities in the unfinished work pocket and as they complete those activities, they get to move them to the completed pocket. And I make sure that my scholars have three kinds of activities in their folder at all times. They have math activities, they have reading activities, and then they have maybe one or two fun sheets. The reading and math activities will be work that we started in class, but maybe we didn't get a chance to finish, or maybe something I, I want them to finish on their own. And the fun activity may be a word search or a coloring page to kind of help them de-stress. Adult coloring books with the finer details have kept my kids busy for two weeks. So as with any newly implemented item, have a set of procedures and rules in place ahead of time to help make transitions to these activities more helpful and less of an interruption. One more that I didn't include in the list, but may be helpful, are choice boards. Now a choice board is a set of pre-approved activities that students can select from to keep themselves busy. They do not have to complete all of them, but they know that they have the choice of only those activities. You can have an early finisher's choice board, bulletin board, or poster that lists all the options available to your scholars, including some of the options in this video. And I even created a free resource in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, which you can find in the link below. All right, education friends, that's all for today. Comment below ways that you engage your early finishers. It's dismissal time, and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.